midges are a hatch that doesn't get talked about a lot as far as the Henry's Fork goes. They're really important on almost all spring creeks and tailwaters and the fact is they're they're really important on the Henry's Fork just not so much during the summer months but in the off season in the fall and and all through the winter actually and, and into the spring the midges are the primary aquatic insect that occurs on the Henry's Fork and and a lot of the surrounding streams as well. And midges are quite different than some of the other families of aquatic insects. They're uh, actually more like a caddis fly in their biology. They have an egg, a larva, a pupa, and then the winged adult. And midges thrive in, in cold water and really in cold weather and they really don't live very long. Most of the midge life cycles that we have here span about six weeks in duration from the time the egg's laid until the adult emerges. And the, the larvae after they hatch out of the egg live as a worm-like creature and most of the time they're down in the rocks and the aquatic vegetation and they're not nearly as available to the trout. And then when they prepare to emerge, they pupate. And a pupa, essentially all it is is a protective sheath that allows the larva to make the transition into a winged insect. And as this occurs, the, the uh, pupa gets a little more active and eventually they ascend to the surface. And the, that happens because the pupil sheath fills with gases and that expands the pupa and causes it to float. So then it floats up and attaches on the underneath side of the surface film as it drifts along until the adult can break, three, uh, can break free of the pupil sheath. Uh, you need to think of a pupa as just like a little, very thin little bubble or something. And so it isn't hard for the adult to get out as opposed to a mayfly that has to wiggle itself out of a, out of a th hard nymphal shuck. And the pupa then em emerges the adult onto the surface and in most cases, the adult can fly as soon as it gets out onto the surface of the water. And so that really makes the most important phase of these midges as the pupa. The pupa is far more important than either the larva or the uh, winged adult. And so most of the fly patterns that we use mainly imitate the pupa and we like to fish it right in or just under the surface film. Even though it's common to use a, a, uh, an adult imitation, like a Griffith snap, for example, uh, I use it more just for an indicator. And I like to tie a little dropper of a pupa of some kind about eight inches off the bend of the hook. Actually, the way I like to fish them, because they're quite small, is I don't even tie the, the adult pattern onto anything. I just, basically what I do is, is I thread a piece of tippet, the tippet that's attached to the leader through the eye of the hook of the a Griffith snap, for example, and then tie a blood knot and so that it slides freely through the eye. And then I tie the pupa about eight inches below. And I think the adult just rides a lot better on the surface film without having two knots attached to it, a knot at the eye of the hook as well as a knot at the bend of the hook. This way you can eliminate all the knots to the top fly. And then we tie the pupa on and 
The colors generally are not that important. You know, midges come in a lot of different colors, but j if you'll tie your patterns in a gray or olive or uh, or sometimes a tan, that'll generally cover everything you need. The sizes are usually very small. The adults are usually about a size 24 or smaller. But you can usually get by with a little larger size in the pupa patterns, and so I often will use them in size 18s or 20s. And as I said, you get a lot of different generations of midges throughout the season, whereas they, they go for about six weeks, so you're just constantly having new generations of midges occurring. And even though they're small, they, they really make up for it in some incredible numbers. And so the trout really do get after them. And I've checked stomach contents of trout in the off season, in the, in what I'd call off season being the cold months of the year. And the fish are usually just pack full of midge pupa. So it's... Uh, it's really one of the most important hatches, not only on this river, but on almost all tailwaters and spring creeks that I'm familiar with. They work really well over on the South Fork. They're every bit as important there, as well as going up north on the Madison. So if you come to fish this part of the world at any other time between about the uh, middle of May and the middle of October, you really better have some midge patterns in your box.